Welcome back to this tutorial about 3D printed humanoid robotic arm part 2 where we are going to continue assembly a real size humanoid robotic arm like this one. In the last video we printed half of the forearm and we made move each finger. And if you want to support this channel and get more information about this project, you can get this little book that I wrote that you can find on Amazon where I explain all the steps that we are going to be doing in a more detailed way. Also you can check my Patreon page, there you can get all the solid word files. Let's continue with the assembling. Let's print the rest of the forearm. Remember that those are the file names and the screws you need. I believe that the video is very self-explanatory so I'm just gonna be talking to add more information in some points. I highly recommend that those little pieces that are in the video you see as white and black have to be printed using nylon. Now we're going to assemble this part of the forearm that also is part of the elbow. I won't accelerate this part of the video because I believe it's very important. And this is the way that it should look like with all the knots in their place. Now it's time to attach the fur two pieces that we assembled together at the beginning of the video with this one. And this is the last part that we have to print to complete the entire forearm. Now 
So now we have the entire forearm completed. I highly recommend that you connect all the circuits, the Arduino, the servos, to make some tests. It's time to assemble the arm. We need the servo arm that fit perfectly in this spot. Make sure that it fit perfectly. We are going to need these things that is called servo basket where the servo that moves the elbow fit perfectly. You can find these servo baskets on Amazon or eBay. Don't tie the screw because we need the servo to make that move. Before assembling the servo, set the servo in a position that you know, preferably at 90 degrees. And this will be the last piece of the elbow. And this is the last piece that we need to complete the entire arm. And remember, this is the version of the robotic arm where the shoulder is just one piece. In the next video, we're gonna be assembling the other version.
And this is how the robotic arm looks like. Fully assembled. What do you guys think? In this point are connecting more servo extensions to each servo. And those are the servos that move the entire arm. Make sure that this piece is printed with nylon. This is a video where you can see a robotic arm exactly like the one that we just assembled moving. Keep in mind that you can use any color you want to print your robotic arm. In the next video we're gonna be assembling this other version of the robotic arm. So make sure to follow me, give me a like, a comment, subscribe and thank you for watching.